Good morning guys, it's Tito Yabi DIY again. Yes, and today I'm going to show you how to convert this uh, Huawei 5B5 to media converter uh, using this one that I uh, bought from Shopee. This is the 1GB. Yeah, 1GB media converter. Yeah, and we're going to convert this um 5v5 we're going to insert this uh, device inside yeah maybe some of you asking why i should i do that um as i shown you last time that i already have the olt however it's epon so as we know epon is limited to 100 mbps and one of our um clients is requesting to have a more than 100 mbps they were requesting to have 300 mbps bandwidth so it's a gigabit port all right so we're going to tap this um, gigabit port to lan one of this um, huawei pi b5 as we all know that <coughs> this huawei pi b5 can be customized now um we can uh, change the upstream to the LAN 1 to its LAN 1 no? then I'm going to show you how to open this uh, Pi B5 let's um, flip the modem then remove the sticker mm -hmm. there so you can access now the survivor we're going to remove the screw or we'll pop up the the cover so guys I'm going to use the small screwdriver to pop up the cover of this uh, 5b5 uh, I already removed it earlier so as you can see it's already removed then what is inside the 5v5 Jaren. there so this is the green port the APC connect SC connector so we're going to remove it there and then we're going to remove the the coupling connector using this any screwdriver so there I already move the pins then let's see if this mini media converter will fit inside this Pi B pipe casing so it looks like we're going to customize to fit in this um, mini converter mm -hmm. so we're going maybe we're going to cut some areas here and remove this part and maybe some of the part here i'm going to remove also so there so guys we're using a uh, side cutter mini side cutter to remove these materials so this one I already remove it and this one as well there you go you were going to remove this one as well using a cutter mm. okay. see if I can remove it using this side cutter there you go Destroyer. 
So there you go guys, I already removed the material here using the side cutter. Then let's see if this mini ninja converter will fit to this area. Mm -hmm. It seems that I need to remove this material as well to fit in this uh, ninja converter cutter to remove these materials uh, I'm going to show you later so there guys I already removed the materials here using this scatter and then let's see if this mini John better will fit inside mm -hmm. there you go yeah perfectly fit Mm -hmm. let's see how it looks like at the bottom there wow nice so this is the port then on next we're going to solder these pins to LAN port 1 so I have an option you know to <coughs> just insert the RJ45 here and then solder solder to land port 1 for our upstream later let's see first if um, this customization will work if this media mini media converter will fit here if i close this 5b5 so we're going to put this this fiber here sc connector i'll just put it there so it looks like fit and let's insert the cover let's put the cover just a little bit wow then we will check if the SC connector can plug in so yeah we can plug in the SC connector so guys this is how it looks like mm -hmm. looks like perfect all right so we're going to if i can crimp um cat 5e instead i'm going to crimp a cat 5e instead then we'll insert it here then I'm going to solder in the LAN port 1 later alright so guys here is our uh, newly crimp uh, cat 5e yeah so maybe some of you asking why I'm using this cat 5e instead of cat 6 so cat 6 has a ticker um, ticker copper inside and then ticker coating or insulation so it's hard to bend inside this modem so instead I'm going to use this cat 5e for me to easily bend and uh, solder it here in the land one land port one so there guys this is how it looks like I inserted the cat 5e 
with RJ45 and I'm going to cut the, five, the cut 5E then remove the insulator so I can solder it here in the LAN port 1 so guys we're going to remove the insulator of this uh, cut 5E using our crimping tool Insulator totally remove. There you go. There. So I'll show you later when I finish soldering the land part one. Going to solder this RJ45 with the Cat 5E UPT course we're going to use a soldering iron and then the lead but first we're going to clean up or heat up our soldering iron then we're going to clean up using a rug a wet rug but this time I don't have a rug so I'm using a tissue instead this is a wet tissue okay so there you go so let's put a little bit of Lead. there it's already prepared I'm using I'm going to use the chopstick method yeah there I'm going to solder it one by one I'm going to zoom so you can there two Start with orange. Next color orange. Okay, so we're done with the UTP wires. Now we're going to solder the USB port of the 5D5. So I already tested the port. So the upper portion is the positive and the lower is the negative. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, I'm the one who put the sign. Then here's the wire. So we're going to put it now inside our casing. I 
think we need a cardboard to isolate the two boards the lower and the upper board Try to follow it up. Is the light from the main converter? one is active so the indicators saying that we have a 1GD connection okay so the LAN port one is also blinking which means a good indication I'll put this set aside and then we're going to connect our phone to the Wi-Fi of this uh, 5B5 modem. Okay. I'm going to connect to the 5G so I can test if my bandwidth exceed to 1 GB or I mean 100 MB. Sorry. Game. Okay. So let's test it. Oh there you go look guys 300 mbps wow pushing to 400 nice yeah so we have a successful um, modification for our um, media converter our 5b5 Okay, I hope you like guys our video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time guys. Again, it's Tito Yabi DIY.